Well, the world, at least the civilized world, is still reeling under the terrorist attack that took place in Paris. It was godless, lawless, barbaric. There's no question about it. But the question that faces the civilized world now, and that includes the United States, is what in the world are we going to do about it? I want to read some excerpts from a, an article by Judith Bergman. She's a writer, a columnist, a lawyer, and a political analyst. But I think she nails it as to the political uh, failure of our politicians to do anything about this. <clears throat> she says one of the most surprising aspects of the terrorist attacks on, uh, in Paris on Friday, Friday the 13th, incidentally, on Friday night is how deeply shocked members of the European political establishment appeared to be. Although the writing has literally been on the wall in blood for the past decade and a half, the West, especially Europe, and the United States included since 9-11, and certainly since this administration has, has been in power. Uh, the West, Europe, the United States continues to be taken aback every time a new terror attack occurs, as if each one were the first. After 9-11 in the United States, the 2004 Madrid train bombing, which killed nearly 200 and wounded 2,000, and the 2005 attacks on London's transit system, where 56 people were killed, 700 wounded, World leaders have no conceivable excuse left to be shocked and surprised at mass terrorism occurring in the midst of Western capitals. Uh, she goes on, the integration of hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants to Europe and anticipated in the United States. This is no longer possible in light of the number and of already existing parallel societies. What's a parallel society? A parallel society refers to Muslim communities that have little or no contact with the rest of the society in their host countries. According to an intelligence document obtained from a German newspaper, quote, we are importing Islamic extremism, Arab anti-Semitism, national and ethnic conflicts of other peoples, as well as an, an indifferent understanding, a different understanding of the society and law. The terrorist attacks in Paris, listen to this, are the direct and deplorable result of political cowardice and inertia. Politicians are unable or unwilling to name the problems by their rightful name. The politicians have been shying away from engaging with the enormous security and social problems that Muslim immigration into Europe and to the West has caused and will continue to cause. The worst is yet to come. It's going to get worse before it gets worse. In the face of Islamic terrorism that the West has been experiencing for more than a decade, the current generation of political leaders has exhibited an irresponsibility and a lack of leadership that is almost infantile. Babies could do better than this in responding to terrorism. It's almost infantile by allowing unchecked Muslim immigration to Europe and, and in anticipation in the United States with this free and open borders. The question is whether the terrorist attacks in Paris will finally amount to a wake-up call for the West political establishment. And that is a huge question. Because this administration has shown no signs of the terrorist attacks getting their attention. Twelve hours before Paris took place, the president had said, Al-Qaeda is constrained. Al-Qaeda is not constrained by any means. <clears throat> and not only is this uh, a disgrace that our politicians have led us into by not doing what they ought to do, that same disgrace, I would suggest, rests upon our our shepherds, our shepherds who have spiritually shut their mouths concerning this issue. And why have they done that? Well, many of them don't have a coherent understanding of the end times. 
there are different views of what's to take place in the order, the sequence of events. But if you don't have a, if our shepherds don't have a, a coherent understanding of the end times, they need to get it, and they need to get it now, for the sake of the people that they have been called to shepherd. They're sticking to political correctness when it comes to dealing with our enemies. And I, I will tell you, quite frankly, from my experience, my experience is that there are many Arab believers that we're going to spend eternity with them in heaven. They know Christ. They've committed their lives to Christ. But they still carry anti-Zionist and anti-Semitic baggage against Israel. And Israel is going to be the epicenter of where all this takes place. The rest of the world is going to reverberate according to the scriptures as to what takes place in Jerusalem. As a matter of fact, Jesus says this in John chapter 16. In fact, he says, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he's offering service to God. Now that's the mantra of jihadists. That's the mantra of radical Islam, to kill the infidels, the Jews and the Christians. They'll do such things because they have not known the Father or me. Matthew says this in Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. <clears throat> For then will, there will be great distress, great tribulation, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now and never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. The elect, that's believers. For the sake of believers, this, this uh, unprecedented affliction and tribulation will be cut short. So what are we to do? Well, <clears throat> I think Luke sums it up in Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Be always on the watch. This is what the shepherd should be teaching to the, to the congregations. Be always on the watch, looking out, praying, that you may be able, that you may have the strength to escape all that is about to happen and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man when he comes. What we see in Paris is going to be exponentially increased in the days ahead. And the shepherds of the true believers will be held accountable for how they instruct and prepare those who are in their flocks. May God help you shepherds. Until next week, O Kiev Oshilo, the Messiah comes, Yimareke Yahweh. Yahweh bless you, Yahweh bless those you love, and those who love you. Eyes open, summer 2014. Sound of thunder woke me up from my sleep. Throngs of angry people storming European streets. Waving signs, shouting things that you wouldn't believe. Death to Jews in France, no chance you heard me. Even worse, it was gas to Jews in Germany. I don't know about you, but it's starting to worry me. Barely made the news. It's cool, they sure me. Just Muslim immigrants watching Gaza and worrying. This was killing innocents, it's really unnerving them. And maybe they in ignorance, y'all something disturbing. A little overzealous, that accounts for their worry. At least that's what they tell us, so we ignore what's emerging. And unfortunately, it is lurking. We got no idea about the evil that's lurking. There's a storm coming. If all this hate's about the state of Israel, now what's that got to do with pulling food from the shelves of the grocery in London? Who was too afraid to sell something kosher? I still be attacked as well. What that you was shown? Pharmacy burned down as I sell. When Muslims bombed the synagogue with Molotov cocktails. The day in 1942, Nazis murdered Jews there. My getting through to you, my making it clear it's anti Semitism, not anti Israel. So you still left them with that think it's no big deal. All this violence and hate, they ain't going nowhere. We can't wish it away with some span or a spell. Get your head out of the sand, Europe, this is for real Can't unsee what I've seen, don't unhear what I tell Two hatred runs deep, it's a bottomless well Now that hatred is back, like cancerous cells Jews are under attack, somebody ring the bell It's high tide, water rising, better brace for the swell There's a storm coming Listen, hear that thunder in the distance Getting closer every minute Did you ever wonder what you're missing? 
when you're too busy to pay attention Can't you sense it? Storms coming in the minute No sense in waiting till we're in it Two by two we gon' send them for the rain Start spilling now you know we got a mission Are you with me? Trying to shot The summer wasn't anything like Kristall Knock There was a day you see what's coming Will you choose to not Like when Theodore hurts a witness Out they drive us in the dark A decorated French Jew Accused of treason Shut shoes Convicted for no reason Paris streets that were teeming With people shouting and screaming No doubt about it Increasing Their drivers couldn't appease them Cause they'd imagined a grievance Like credence too To believe that maybe the Jews Were the reason for all the problems They see him Hurt to watch the proceedings And then it hit him The need of his fellow Jews for a state The only place they'd be free From the tidal wave of hate About to flood the whole region He made his case for escape He tried to reach him But it was too late Before the world believed him He saw the storm coming That was back in 1894 Forty years before the show would hit Europe shores What if they listened when he tried to warn About the storm clouds he saw beginning to form What if they listened to Noah when he was building the ark Not a cloud in the sky, man, no cause for alarm But he had the foresight to see the flood from afar Not to see as he liked, but see things as they are Now seeing it's easy, but believing it's hard Cause then we choose to ignore it or to do our part Do we lay on the beach and watch the sky grow dark Or do we stand in the breach and get the people ashore We got no excuse, don't gotta look that far See the storm clouds gathering, the sky grow dark Hear the thunder rattle, see the lightning spark There's a storm coming, whether we're ready or not Listen, hear that thunder in the distance Getting closer every minute Did you ever wonder what you're missing? When you're too busy to pay attention, can't you sense it? Storm's coming any minute No sense in waiting till we're in it Two by two we gon' send them for the rain Start spilling, now you know we got a mission Are you with me? Take the likes of ISIS and for us to believe it They screaming death to the Jews and Hitler was right You think they don't mean it Just ask the four people dead outside that Belgian museum I ain't saying be scared I got my rhymes and my reasons I'm talking signs and the seasons You gotta know how to read them It's hard to swallow, I'm pleading If you can follow, I'm leading I'll do my best to get you there I'll be your second you wheel That old serpent It's on a lot to see one day soon, he's coming to reap Let's not wait for that fruit, man, those roots run deep Was there ever an age when hating Jews wasn't a thing? It comes and goes in waves like a pendulum swings And there's a wall of water coming like you wouldn't believe Never again, happen again, I ain't waiting to see No, I'm a warning about the storm and I'ma help him to leave El Al, the higher ground, touch down in Tel Aviv Up to Yisrael, where the show man never sleeps We going two by two, you finally see what I mean Headed to an arc between the Jordan and the sea Let me deny to you, D.